So Brian said, can we take a look at the S&P, analyze what's going on in the S&P? Um, we're below the 20 moving average. We have not been below the 20 moving average during pretty much this entire run up off of the February lows. Uh, that is significant and it indicates possibility for some continued selling pressure to really come into this market. Yesterday's sell off guys was, was pretty dramatic uh, and uh, to a large degree somewhat unexpected by market participants and, and you really got the sense of that. Um, Chicago PMI missed. Euro is trending above 114 right now, which is pretty significant and is likely to cause uh, some more selling pressure in the S&P. Okay, so Brian asking for you know can we can we analyze this? Can we take a look at it? Um, here's what I'm looking at. To me, the last couple of days of activity are just part of a. Uh, bigger picture, if you will, of continuously lower highs on the SPX. We have not been able to come anywhere close to breaking out above last year's highs that were put in uh, in April and then repeated uh, pretty closely in the uh, September time frame, up to July, August time frame, um, before the big sell-off. So what am I seeing in the market? I'm seeing a market here that seems to be weakening. Uh, and when you look at some of the economics that are going on, you look at some of the, the big picture uh, earnings contraction, right? We've had companies, yeah, and for crying out loud, Apple, of all companies, Apple has its first earnings contraction, its first earnings miss, so to speak, in like 52 quarters. I mean, what's that take us back to, like 2003? Yeah, there's not a lot here that makes people say, oh, yeah, this is great. Let's jump on this bandwagon. Um, and if people aren't buying it, they're selling it. Does that mean the market's going to go down? No. Doesn't mean the market is going to go down. Does it mean that we can get some fear in this market? Yeah. I mean, look, I, I'm, I'm no genius, right? I mean, I'm not the smartest man in any room, but... You and I freaking figure that crap out right there. I mean, I just look at it and go, well, that, that doesn't look bullish. Long term, that does not look bullish to me. And I'm going to say I'm probably not the only one who feels that way. Just guessing. 